Hello everyone, I'm Kelsey Lemon, Technical Marketing Manager at VMware, and I want to welcome you to the Day 2 Mastery Series, where we look at specific features and workflows that allow you to get the most out of the service. And in this episode, we're going to focus on how you can use Skyline and some of its key features as a forensic tool to help you pinpoint additional factors that could be influencing the proactive findings and recommendations that the service provides. Now you're probably asking yourself, so Skyline is a forensic tool now? But if you think about it, it's not too far off base. You know, here's an analogy that I like to use. When you go to a doctor for a checkup, they test or collect all of your vital information. They're checking your breathing. They check your vision, your heart rate, your blood pressure, and so on. In essence, they're checking off all the categories in your body's inventory and rating it by level of severity. And just like Skyline, if all the levels of severity are fine, you get a clean bill of health. But then you tell the doctor that you recently started experiencing pain in your joints. And what's the very next thing your doctor's going to ask you? They're going to ask, when did you first observe this? Now let's put that analogy in the context of your network and its health. As the physician of your network, you can do the same thing with Skyline acting as your assistant. You can use it to help you pinpoint the activities that may have triggered its findings and recommendations. But unlike a physician, you don't have to wait until your patient's annual physical. With Skyline, you can be very proactive in your approach and do these checkups frequently and address issues as soon as they are reported. Now on to the demo. We're going to take a look at how you can use Skyline as a forensic tool to help you put its findings and recommendations into a chronological sequence of events and help you self-remediate issues even faster. Each Skyline finding shows you when each issue was first observed in your organization. With it, you can sort findings by date as well as combine it with other filtering options such as level of severity to better isolate probable causes for the issue's appearance. Now let's do a deeper dive by looking at this specific issue. As you can see, Skyline is reporting when this issue was first detected, but when I click on the card for more detail, I can see that this issue has impacted several objects at different dates. Looking at the dates themselves, I realize that these findings coincide with the times that I added new objects for Skyline to monitor. This makes me realize that the problem is more pervasive at the system level. And when I look at the recommendation, I see that my EXXI host is not communicating well with the vCenter server to the point that my SCSI operations are failing with out of memory messages. In essence, I'm going to continue to get this error every time I add more objects. Luckily, I can do a broad sweep and not only address this issue and the current number of objects impacted by it, but I can also keep future objects from experiencing this issue by doing the recommended upgrade. And with that, this concludes this episode of the Day 2 Mastery Series. I hope you found it informative. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout for live webinars where you can ask me and the rest of the Skyline team questions about the service.